Evil is on the rise. Will you stand or will you fall? What will you do when demons attack you in the night, in the evil day? Do you know what to do? Well, I'm going to tell you what Ephesians says. Okay? We're just going to read from, from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. And we're going to have us a talk. Serious talk. So listen up. This is Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now let's have us a talk. That is the word of God. <clears throat> When was the last time you've been attacked by a demon? When was the last time you felt evil around you or you had an annoying dream where things were attacking you and you didn't know how to fight them off? Do you know why? Wickedness is on the rise and with wickedness comes evil. All right? And there requires, or let's say in the atmosphere, God requires of us a higher anointing and with new levels come new devils so we have to know how to fight we can't be wimpy we can't pussyfoot around and tiptoe around the tulips and whistle in the dark no we have to use the authority God gave us it's time out for fear you guys God hasn't given us a spirit of fear okay but of love, power, and a sound mind. You have to use your mind. You cannot panic. Can't tuck your tail, your head between your tail and run. You got to stand. You got to make a stand. Stand for something or fall for everything. Now, did you hear about that judge? I'm not going to mention names. Did you hear about the black judge that said he will not marry? outside of his religious beliefs. Well, let me tell you, he took a chance of losing his seat. He took a chance of all kind of stuff coming against him. But he'd rather fall for God than fall for evil. And I take my hat off to him. Now, what would you do if that challenge came to you? Would you think about your house payment and all of your needs being met? And the thought of never having ever done time before. Well, listen, look back in the day. The disciples of old chose prison over compromise. Choose you this day whom you will serve. While you're choosing, learn to fight for what you believe, please. Now I'm going to tell you some experiences I've had. And I'm going to make them brief. I have had demons grab me in my dreams and some of them I rebuked in the name of Jesus and either they fell or they just disappeared or flew back up in the air with a horrible shrill. I have had a demon show up in my living room. God made him show up so I could do battle with him to stop him from convincing my sister to commit suicide and as a result God saved her life that night God has allowed me to see demons and fight them some of the last ones I've had to deal with I dealt with them not in the name of Jesus but praising God glorifying God whether you're afraid or whether you're just annoyed. Get rid of those bad boys. The first time you see a hint of it, 
even if you're dozing off and you see something evil flare up in your face, you do battle right there on the spot. You wake yourself up and do battle. You don't settle. You don't say, oh, that must have been a nightmare. Make an assumption, you guys. Satan is going to battle with the saints. And we got to fight back. Because every time we fight, we win. But if you uh, agree with him or give in or you're intimidated or, oh man, you better get on that phone and call somebody who's not intimidated. Get some reinforcements to pray with you. And if you don't know what to do, ask God to come rescue you in the name of Jesus and send his angels to get rid of those demons. But you got to learn how to do warfare. Because there are times you got to fight for yourself. You've got every weapon at your disposal. God gave it all to us. So you can't be mamby-pamby about your walk with God. You may not know how to throw a punch. I know I don't. But I know how to get rid of a demon. I refuse to let them little slimy suckers mess with me. I said suckers, S-U-C-K-E-R-S. I refuse, and you should too. Your children have little friends in their bedrooms. You better go in that bedroom and rebuke that bad boy. Get your child to accept the Lord Jesus in their heart. Cover them in the blood of Jesus. Cleanse your house spiritually. Slap some oil around them walls. Put some crosses, whatever. But you get up there and you command them, them boogers with your mouth. You command them to leave your house, never, ever, ever to return in the name of Jesus. And your whole family should be praising God and playing praise music all through the night to keep them boogers from wanting to come back because praise confuses the enemy. That's one thing praising God will do. Do you hear what I'm saying? You've got to learn to fight. You don't have to know how to kick or do karate no, you don't have to know how to do that. All you have to know how to say is, Jesus, 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 Jesus. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And for the stubborn ones, praise God, glory to God, hallelujah. I bless and praise your holy name. I serve a loving, great God. I mean, just go on and on ad infinitum and have yourself a praise party at Satan's expense. <laughs>